The package has been delivered. Very well. Was everything prepared as required? Sure. The box just had some generic information. But more than enough to arouse Mr. Chambers' curiosity. Perfect. If we had used a simple envelope, he probably wouldn't have even noticed at all. Considering the type of person, that's likely. Are we sure there are no clues that could put him on our trail? I'm 100% certain. I've been extremely careful about that. Very good. The director will be pleased, I presume. I'll report everything immediately. If everything goes as the director has planned, Mr. Chamber will reach them. And we'll have time to make our move, correct? If there's nothing else, it's time for me to clear the field. Yes, return here as soon as possible and await new orders. Agreed. Here's Charles. You can see a certain likeness, huh? Okay, it might sound a little strange, but according to several psychoanalysts, he represents my subconscious. Yes, I can talk with my subconscious. That's nice. I don't know how I evoked it, but whenever I'm dreaming, I can enter this room where I can talk with him. Clearly, my ego is a bit, how can I put it, pronounced? A portrait of Charles, or in other words, a portrait of me. Hey, look who's coming. It's like looking at myself in a mirror. Hello, Charles. How are you doing? As usual, a bit narrow, a bit solitary. What news do you bring from the outside world? Hey, but shouldn't you know everything I know? I mean, you're my subconscious after all. Second me. Let's talk a bit. It'll be a pleasant distraction. My life here is pretty tedious. I can imagine always being stuck inside this room. Tonight, there was a theft at the Museum of Antique History. A theft? And what was stolen? I don't know exactly. Some kind of archaeological finds. The interesting thing is that I was there when the theft took place. What do you mean? Have you decided to become a criminal? The theft occurred during the dedication ceremony for the new wing of the museum. Nobody noticed what was happening. Those were clever thieves. They used a diversion so they could work undisturbed. Yes, poor Professor Archer. It must have been a shock for him. Well, at least the evening has become a little more eventful. That's what I said, too. This evening, I received a strange letter. Does the Postal Service also deliver at night? And <laughs> People are complaining about the crisis. I don't think so. Someone probably delivered it by hand. What's so strange about this letter? Well, first of all, there was no sender. Then it was inside a box with a strange lock. Furthermore, it's marked with just two words and a symbol. Which words? Service Society. Um, I guess you noticed. The symbol on the box is curiously similar to the pendant of the woman you met at the party, isn't it? Hey, it's true. It's the same symbol. Well, this is definitely weird. I've received a new assignment. Ah, yes. I had forgotten your hang-up. Your new hobby. So, you've decided to keep playing detective. Come on, it's fun. And it seems I'm pretty good at it. Why are you so bored? Maybe you should choose a more conventional pastime. Like numismatics. Or perhaps collecting three-headed monkeys. Monkeys? It's just a way to kill some time, and then I can't let Toletta down. Hmm. She's the buyer. Charlie, I know you have some problems concentrating, but try to listen to me carefully. Here he goes. Of all the crazy things you've done in your life up to this moment... Why does this happen every time? This is by far the most absurd. Do you realize this could be dangerous? This room is really sad and sterile. Please remember that you're not only risking your safety, but mine as well. Maybe next time I'll bring a present. A plant, perhaps. Or a lamp. I thought this was one of your passing obsessions, but now I'm starting to worry for real. But will I be able to bring a present here? I mean, how does it work? I have to dream about it, and then... Hmm. Okay, I'll dream of bringing a plant here. Then I'll enter the room. And there's Charlie's specialty. Losing focus. Charlie. Eh? What? Let's drop it.
I actually never thought that me and that painting were very similar. I mean, okay, it looks like me, but there's also something different. I feel a little uncomfortable. It's like I'm being judged by myself. The style isn't even convincing. So classic. I would have expected a bit more innovation from myself. I've discussed this with Charles a number of times, but he thinks it's completely appropriate. Oh, the mysteries of the human mind. A newspaper and a lamp. They're always on that table. I've never noticed if the newspaper changes or if it's always the same one. The table is pretty nice. On the other hand, Edwardian Baroque, I guess, or something similar. I never had any furniture like this. I wonder why I decided to put it in this room. Hmm. A newspaper? Normally, I would think that putting such a big fireplace in a room so small was a bad choice. But after all, this is just a dream. I wonder if there are also fire prevention rules in a place like this. If it can be defined as a place. On the whole, this place is pretty elegant, I have to admit. Charles has good taste, nothing you can say about that. Which means that I have good taste, of course. It's Charles' gramophone. I guess he uses it to listen to what goes on outside. Weird. It's Charles' gra- I don't remember that place. It's the hook used to keep the skylight closed. It's the hook. This is the guest list for the gala evening. Very strange. There weren't that many of us. It could just as well be an impartial list. And then the list doesn't include the woman dressed in white who I got that drink for. Gregory must have found it under my bed, but unfortunately it's empty. Hey, there's something attached to the bottom. It looks like a ticket with something written on it, but I can't read it. If I tried to remove it, I'd risk ruining it and making it unreadable. This is definitely weird. How did it end up in there? A metallic napkin holder. Where did this come from? I probably left it lying around. Maybe I should pick it up. Gregory would get angry if he found it here. Hey Gregory, did you by any chance put a strange box on my bed last night? Box? What box, Charlie? I didn't put anything on your bed last night. Ah. Uh then it wasn't Gregory who put it there. Now I'm wondering who it was and why. Charlie, what's going on? Is everything okay? Everything is fine, don't worry. Listen, I have to ask you a favor. Could you go to the local Chamber of Commerce this morning and research all documents relating to a certain society service, please? Uh, of course, Charlie, no problem. I'm going to research the documents later. But what is this service society? That's just what I want to find out. There's just been an amazing discovery. Have you heard, Charlie? They've discovered a ninth planet in the solar system. It seems they're calling it Pluto. 
Uh, to be honest, no, I don't know anything about it. Toletta will be happy. Uh, she's the one who loves this stuff. Now that you mention it, let's hope she doesn't want me to take part in some boring conference on the subject. Hmm. The ice statue has completely melted. What a pity. I'll take the trident as a souvenir to comfort me. It worked! I didn't expect that. After all, they say a little physical exercise is good for your body. That box is blocking the passage. I must find a way to move it, but it's so heavy. Let's see if this can still be of some use. It could just as well work. Damn, it broke. Maybe it was already damaged. What a pity. Let's try again. One, two, three. Ugh, at last. What a struggle. It was really heavy. It made a big thump. Let's hope nobody was listening. Hey, wait a moment. What if there was something fragile inside the box? Oops. It was really heavy. The door leading to the alley has a bar on it, and it looks pretty sound. I don't see any signs of breaking and entering, but the thieves must have used this entrance. However, the bar can be raised from the inside without using any keys. And this also disengages the alarm system. Now that is interesting. It's a small and sturdy box, no more than 12 inches wide, empty. I wonder what was inside. They probably use it to move the heavier objects, like that large box. Item 2BS331. I wonder what's inside. Something big for sure. Maybe a sarcophagus. Or a statue. A golden statue, maybe. Damn, now I really want to open the box. Charlie, you can't do that. Don't even think about it. Sometimes I get carried away, but this time it won't happen. Yes, I will resist, of course. Item 2B. It's a note from the township, something about some regulations. An abandoned apple core. It seems recently discarded. As curious as its presence here is, I don't think it's related to my investigation. Nah, I don't believe it. A new suction pad, abandoned in the garbage. Maybe I could... No hints at all. That's strange. I was expecting to find something. I need more info to get some kind of accurate idea. For example, it would be useful to know what was stolen, at least to formulate a hypothesis about how the thieves executed the theft. I can't ask Uncle Chandler. He would become suspicious.
Maybe this is the time to pay a visit to Professor Archer. He should be able to give me some information. Here we are. I don't like this business. Let's hope I'll be able to understand what's happening. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Ooh. Everything's all right? I, I, uh, well, well, well actually... Uh, Are you okay? Yes. Everything. Everything is, is fine. Well, excuse me, but now I really have to go. See you. Hmm. Something's missing here. Strange. An entire file with certificates of incorporation from 1907 has vanished. Those documents are necessary to certify the creation of any kind of company. Things like these just don't lose themselves. Someone took them. I'll warn Charlie about this. It might be important. Okay, it's already late, and I don't think there's anything more to be discovered. I'll head home. Professor Archer is a suspect in the theft. Unbelievable! I wonder what's going through my uncle's mind. Well, he is just doing his job, Charlie. You can't blame him for his enthusiasm. I know he doesn't have malicious intentions. It's just that the idea of the professor being involved in this business seems surreal to me. I've got to wrap my mind around this business, Gregory, so that we can clear the professor. It was pretty easy to find the correct address among the museum documents. It wasn't a problem to get past the doorkeeper. Now let's see about finding the information we're looking for. Mr. Chamber, what an unexpected surprise. Good morning, Professor Archer. I hope my visit isn't bothering you. Please, please, Mr. Chamber. It's a pleasure to see you. Please do come in. Thank you, Professor. May I ask to what I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well, you see, what happened the other night during the dedication really struck me. As you know, I'm one of the main financial backers of the museum. I'm concerned about the possible repercussions of the theft. It's not that I have any doubts, Professor Archer, but if possible, I'd still like to have a look at the stolen items list. I'm very sorry, Mr. Chamber. The police expressly forbid me from divulging any information about this matter. If you don't want to show me the list, maybe we could talk about you a little bit. You could tell me how and when you learned about the theft. I'm pretty sure that will be interesting. If my memory serves me correct, you left the party room a few minutes before the theft on the night of the dedication. I went to my office to check that everything was ready for the inauguration. I'm sorry, but to check what? And at night? The new exhibit hall will open next week, and there are still a lot of little things to fix. And now, after the theft, it will be even more complicated. Let's hope the police don't get any strange ideas, considering how they're struggling to find a culprit. But, but that's ridiculous! 
I'm risking my reputation with the opening of the new museum wing. I can't believe that someone would suspect me. You're right. You really have to stop a rumor like that from spreading. I can help you. I just need the list of the stolen objects. What? But why would you need it? I don't know. Of course, I don't want to be suspected, but the police advised me not to pass along any information. You need help, and I'm prepared to give you mine. But you have to allow me to help you, and you can do so by giving me that list. Well, Mr. Chamber, since it's so important to you, here's the stolen objects list. I must ask you to exercise the utmost discretion, however. Of course you don't have to worry. Many thanks for your helpfulness, Professor Archer. Now, though, let me ask you for a favor. A favor? Could you please bring this picture to your uncle, Inspector Chamber? It was taken in the museum warehouse the day before the theft. We wanted to document the ongoing works. Now maybe it will be useful to the investigation. That lighter in the window is really beautiful. I'm sure it could be helpful. It's a pity that the display cabinet is closed. The glass appears shaky, though. Of course, it would just be borrowing. I'd return it, obviously. I'm not a thief. Okay, here it is. If this detective thing doesn't work out, at least I have a possible career as a thief. It seems that someone has put Mr. Chamber on our trail. So it seems. I barely had the time to remove all the documents related to us from the Chamber of Commerce. Fortunately, the operation has not been delayed. Whoever is acting against us, they are a very clever rival. It's just a matter of time. Sooner or later, we'll identify him. What should I do in the meantime? Proceed as planned. We're counting on your zeal. Yes, sir. I'm confused. What's confusing you, Charlie? The name... Istanbul. Ah... Uh... I don't understand. Why change your name now after all this time? Constantinople isn't good enough anymore? As I said before, I'm confused. It's a folded sheet of paper. Just what I always wanted. Besides, paper can always come in handy. Hi there, Charlie. To what do we owe this visit? I was in the area, and I thought I'd drop by. You're always welcome, nephew. Unfortunately, though, I'm buried in work. And it's so hot in here, I'm having trouble focusing. And I still have many hours to go. Don't worry, Uncle. There's no problem. Ah, much better. I should have turned it on myself. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Uncle. A little while ago, I met with Professor Archer, the director of the museum. He asked me to give you this picture. 
It was taken in the museum shop the day before the theft. Oh, look at this. Very interesting. It will be very helpful. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Just curious. Here he comes. Why did you meet with Professor Archer? Don't tell me you're sticking your nose in the case, nephew. Oh. Certainly not. It's a misunderstanding. It was a happy coincidence. Um, okay, I was just curious. Uh, with my back, this will be a problem. Wait, I'll pick it up. It's the case file. Interesting. Here's the list of the stolen items. And there's other information, too. I wish I had more time to read it thoroughly. Thanks, Charlie. Here you go. Here's the picture. Thanks again. You're welcome, Uncle. Okay, Uncle. I'll let you work. Perhaps one of these days you can come by and see me, okay? Count on it, Charlie. See you soon. And then, I'm supposedly the one with the excessive ego. Why? They just completed work on Mount Rushmore. Doesn't that seem too excessive a celebration of Washington? Perhaps it's exaggerated a bit. But after all, we are talking about a monument dedicated to a national forefather, not a home decoration. Hey, Gregory. How did it go at the Chamber of Commerce? Did you find anything? Hello, Charlie. Welcome back. Well, yes, actually. I found something weird. So you're telling me that, in your opinion, someone stole those documents on purpose? Well, I'm afraid so. It's important data. It doesn't just vanish into thin air. Okay. Things are getting really strange. Who are these people, and what do they want from me? If I may, maybe this isn't the end. Your family's foundation is very important. Perhaps, perhaps it's possible they can gather information more easily than we can. Maybe, if I might suggest, by directly contacting the Chamber of Commerce in the capital. You're right, it's a good idea. Whoever is involved in this matter, I don't think they could have gotten all the way there. Not yet, at least. Contact the Farcon Foundation and ask if they can take care of this issue. Oh, okay. What are you going to do in the meantime? I'll do one of the things I do best. I'll relax for a few hours to sort out my ideas, and maybe rest up a bit. I've been running around all day. You know I'm not used to all this physical activity. Hmm. 